to make a punk record. Oh. <laughs> no, we're rolling. It's okay. You can go for that one if you want. Black Mountain, North Carolina. That is where our story takes place. And I'm sitting on the porch of this uh, coffee shop. It's basically a house that's been converted. And this old man has a pack of cigarettes and a cup of coffee, and I'm just sitting there minding my own business, M-Y-O-B, as they say. And uh, he says to me, uh, well, let's get into it, bro. And I'm like, excuse me? He's like, let's get into it, man. I said, get into what? I thought I was sitting in his chair or something, right? And he says, uh, no, man, I like to talk, and I can tell you like to talk, and you obviously have a lot to say, so I'll go first. And he just sits down, and for the next four hours, we have this, this conversation about nothing and everything all at once. And I went home and pinned down the words to the song, and that's, how, that's where it came from. The wisdom of a man, probably 30 years my senior, maybe more. Actually, he's probably a lot younger than he looked. Clean living. So anyway, the song's called Traveling. You can barely see your feet On the road you are traveling Wasting all your time Looking for a sign that never comes Asking how and why To every passerby you encounter Only to find No one's any lighter than you are put faith in the world around me. You got the life, dude. One way or another, it always works out. This right here is what, it's what runs. This runs. And then, when this is running, there's gas, and it's back there, but it's coming up here, somehow. <laughs> and it makes the wheel spin. And then you push and pedals and stuff, and it goes down the road. <laughs> Bill Hicks said it best. 
Life is just a ride, and we can change it any time we want. It really is just a choice. It's a choice between love and fear. My dad was a pastor, and that's what I thought that I wanted to do, and I was following in his footsteps, and I was going to school to be a pastor. I was living in Wichita, and I was working for a gas station chain, and it just, you know, my life wasn't exactly what I was wanting. And one night, I was out sweeping up the parking lot, and I literally got on my hands and knees. And I'm like, God, like I need something to get me through this life. That's all I said, you know, amen. And I got up and six months later, I'm living in California. And all I can really say about it is, there are moments in your life that can only be described as before this moment and after this moment. And that was one of those times. And my life's never been the same since that moment. And I wouldn't change a thing. It's what has caused me to be in this place doing what I'm doing now. And I'm still following in my dad's footsteps. I'm just doing it in a completely different way. No going backwards and the sides are no good. I refuse to do those things that I know I should. But I lost my marble when I went out to sea. And now I'm not sure if I will ever be me. This is California, man. <laughs> to each his own, right? He might end up, ended up in hell. I really thought I was supposed to come out to California and that it was all about trying to be a musician and get a career going. And I look back now and I realize that it was, it was really about trying to figure out who I wanted to be as a person. Really didn't have much to do with music at all. Although I gained a lot of experience. It was really more about working on the spiritual self and just realizing some things about life. And I learned a lot while I was here. I heard no screaming as the layers fell away. The times and revealing your year of secret pain but you are so strong that's what I saw about you you know California kind of showed me the whole the whole gamut I mean at one point I was living in a tent in my friend's yard it was a great experience, but it was probably the loneliest time of my life. An onion peeling won't be feeling any pain. But you are revealing that you do not feel the same. But you are so strong. That's what I saw about you. It's not 
not supposed to feel this way And you know I can't say anything And now you know I'm feeling bad Cause you deserve much more than that Time for peeling will soon come to an end And as you're healing, you will learn to start again And you'll move on Cause you're so strong That's what I saw about you. But it was time to go home. You know, it was time to go back to Kansas. I had figured some things out. And I needed to heal. And I didn't really feel like I could heal out here, so I had to go home to do that. I learned that the reason I want to do music, and the reason I want to play music, is because it helps people. And it builds people up. And in the process, I was helping myself and building myself up. And that's why it's so important that I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs>